Hey guys, I just wanted to do a uh, update video, posting, posing type thing. Uh, I'm not very good at posing, so I don't really like doing some of these videos. But a lot of people that started following me started following me because of the uh, posing videos and things. So um, I'm going to continue to go ahead and periodically update them. Uh, as I mentioned before, you know, after the first six months or so of lifting, you know, my body kind of stopped making like noticeable changes from month to month, so I kind of lost interest in uh, posting anything. And then there's also the aspect, now I'm going to post some uh, before pictures, and when you look at these before pictures, uh, notice that um, where my body fat percentage is, because when I post the uh, video, um, my body fat percentage is about the same. So um, when I say in the, the pictures I'm about or, uh, 175 pounds, and then in the um, video I am, uh, I am 205 pounds, so that's a 30 pound increase, um, you know, without dramatically changing my body fat percentage. So essentially I've gained 30 pounds of muscle, which I think is pretty great. Um, but so here, I usually been watching the pictures. Uh, these pictures were from my very first video. You can scroll back um, to uh, it's one of one of my first videos. I don't think it's the very first one, but you can scroll back and look at that. And then here is the newest one. Now, at no point since beginning to lift weights or any part of the last year and four months have I followed the traditional high protein diet that is so common to bodybuilding and even powerlifting. Uh, generally I get anywhere from 60 to 100 grams of protein in a day and there is some variance there but at times I have been 100% raw vegan eating no cooked foods at all primarily eating fruit with green leafy vegetables and at other times I've added foods like quinoa and beans into my salads in the evening. So when I compare my lifts and my size, I guess, or muscular build, 30 pounds, uh, to other natural lifters that aren't in Hollywood, um, I don't really see any difference. There are people, I think there are tons of people out there wasting money on protein supplements and on um, these pre-workout and post-workout and all this other crap and you can just save your money, eat a good diet, um, you don't have to follow a raw vegan diet, you don't have to follow a vegan diet if you don't want to. I think it's best myself, but you know, I, it just, I'm for people, you know, following truth. And though I think a vegan diet is the most ethical thing to do, I think it's, for most people, the most healthy thing to do, but still yet, you can be healthy and not follow a vegan or vegetarian diet. Um, but I don't think any diet where meat is the center of your diet is going to be healthy. Um, so that's about all I have to say on the subject. Uh, I really just want to be a demonstration to people that there is no need to take these crazy supplements, that the supplements that people are using in the fitness industry um, to make money and to promote products is just silly and they're taking advantage of people in it. So. Um, I wish I had more insight in the matter to give you guys, but really I just want to be a demonstration. So, uh, good luck with all of your fitness endeavors. I'll uh, be looking back for more videos. I've had a lot of trouble uh, making videos lately. Um, I, it seems like I've been waking up really early in the mornings, uh, going to school, taking my kids to school. Um, I, I am still working out three days a week. Um, but and then I by the time I uh, work and do school work it ends up being really late at night so making videos is not um, high on my priority list which is why I'm making one while driving today I'm just doing speaking parts anything that I've added in like the video or anything um, 
I'm obviously not driving while doing that. But, um, so, that's all I have to say. Hopefully I'll be getting back with you guys real soon. Uh, take it easy. Peace out and eat plants and fruit. Later.